So one now new this morning. Many families are more familiar with hotspot technology now due to remote learning during the pandemic. And in many places, you plug it in, you connect, and you're off and running. In some areas, though, that doesn't work, especially right here in the tri-states. WGEM's Isabel Rossi live in Lewis County this morning to explain the headaches that some families are facing. Isabel, good morning. Good morning, Don. Here at Lewis County C1 Schools, when a student gets a hotspot like this one from the school district, sometimes when they take it home to use it, it just doesn't work because they don't have strong enough cell, for, cell phone service. And the superintendent here says that there's not a simple solution for that. Superintendent John French says that during the pandemic, the school district began working with regional cell phone companies like T-Mobile and AT&T and U.S. Cellular through a state program to fund some of the equipment remote learners needed. French said if they'd ordered a set amount and it doesn't work for the kids at home, it just sits in a box. He says it's frustrating when the state lawmakers try to come up with a fix for Missouri schools and it doesn't work for his district. Uh, there were many providers that were provided on a list through the state saying they'll provide free internet to, to children at home so that they can do their schoolwork and stuff. Not a single provider on that list services our area. That's when the district switched to the hotspots or modems through the phone company, but those aren't included with the state grant, which means parents ultimately have to pay the $30 a month fee for it, and the cost varies depending on the plan. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll have more from the superintendent on what their plans are going forward with school starting again in about a month and a half. Live in Lewis County, I'm Isabella Rossi, WGEM News. Isabella, thank you. And here's some more information on this story. A National Telecommunications and Information Administration study shows Missouri ranks 32nd worst out of 50 in access to broadband internet. Some counties in Missouri have little or no access at all, mostly in rural areas. The state says it's working on a special infrastructure grant program to get caught up.